Hey everybody, uh, you know, sometimes you stumble upon something on the internet and no matter how big it is, no matter, you know, no matter how well known the thing is, sharing it with people feels like letting them in on a special little secret, revealing to them an important thing they need to know. Um, this is all to say I recently stumbled across the YouTube channel Real Life Peter Griffin and I've never been the same after that. That was the that was the that was the defining moment of my life. It is as good as it sounds. Okay? It is inherently as good as it sounds to watch this man with an uncanny resemblance to Peter Griffin go on a YouTube channel every few every few months and say, you know, you know what really grinds my gears and talk about his problems with Fortnite. And then everybody wants to go to freaking Tilted Towers all the time, you know. I feel more at home at Lonely Lodge. Talk about his problems with water levels in video games. I mean, I think everybody can agree that water levels are, are the worst thing to ever be invented. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's inherently really quite amazing, actually. But it, 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 it gets better. In the first post Real Life Peter Griffin ever made, the very first post, can you imagine? Very first post he ever made, it's called, You Know What Really Grinds My Gears? Racism. It starts off really good, okay? Peter, real life Peter Griffin comes out. He says that he's not into racism. He makes, you know, fam family guy funny jokes. The only things that I am intolerant of are giant chickens and Meg. But the end of Grinds My Gear Racism is maybe my favorite moment of all of YouTube. R real life Peter Griffin says, the only N-word we say here, the only N-word we say is like Nacho's Bel Grande, okay? And then he has a cutaway, a Family Guy cutaway to him smashing the nachos into his mouth, okay? And then he returns, he returns from the cutaway, breaks character, and is like, by the way, racism's no good. Oh, God. <sighs> <sighs> All kidding aside, I don't think racism is cool. Don't do it. If you do racism, fuck out of here. We don't do racism. I'm not down with any of that crap. So if you're down with racism, I'm not down with you. He's not Peter Griffin anymore. Now it's just the fucking guy. And to be clear, I am not emphatically not making fun of real life Peter Griffin. Um... I've never seen some guy just stand in front of a camera and say racism f is sucks and and feel it so much. It's almost emotional to see this guy really earnestly after impersonating Peter Griffin really earnestly just just say truth. Um anyway, that's all I had to say to you. The video grinds my gears racism. It has 2.1 million views. I'm sure many of you have seen it. But man, it's it's worth it. It's worth it's worth introducing it to uh, one single person. Bye.